Did you know that Hikvision DVRs actually have a hidden secret menu? Us as installers use it to adjust little tiny settings mainly for the colour view cameras and today I'm going to quickly show you exactly how to get into that menu. First thing you're going to want to do is log in to your recorder using the pattern. Now I'm going to assume you've already connected a monitor up to the DVR. This will only work on DVRs and not NVRs so it's important you check you've definitely got a DVR before you start trying to do these steps. You'll know if you've got a DVR because your camera cable will be coax rather than network cable. The first thing you want to do is select the camera in which you want to adjust the settings for. In this case we're using a 4K POC colour view. Once you've selected the camera at the bottom you will see the PTZ control menu. Click on the PTZ control menu and just OK the prompt that appears in front of you. Now you're going to want to head up to the top right hand corner of the screen and click on the Iris Plus. The Iris Plus gets you into the secret menu. From here you can adjust things like the resolution of the camera. So you can see here that the camera is currently running at 8 megapixels at 15 frames per second. But we can adjust that so it runs at 3K at 20 frames per second, 2 megapixels at 25 frames per second and so on. The thing that we mostly use this for as installers is adjusting the smart light within the colour view POC cameras. So if I scroll down to smart light by using the up and down arrows in the top right corner and then enter the menu by clicking the iris plus. Once you're inside the menu you can see that there's lots of settings to adjust here so the light we can set from auto to off if the customer doesn't want it or we can adjust things like the threshold. So the threshold is what light level the camera will bring on the inbuilt LED. You can set it from two all the way up to three. It tends, we tend just to keep it at two. Now the next one down is one that we use the most, which is the how powerful the LED light actually is. So you can reduce that right down if the customer isn't happy with how bright the light is, or you can adjust it up if they want to have a brighter, more vibrant LED light. It's important to note that if you want to, at this point, exit the menu, you have to save the settings. So make sure you go to save and exit, and you can do that by scrolling to save and exit using the up and down arrows and selecting the Iris Plus. To get back into the menu again, if you needed to, it's just a case of going back through the same steps, Iris Plus, and then the up and down arrows to get into the various different settings. If you make a mistake or want to reset the camera back to default, you can do by selecting on the Iris Plus on the factory default and it will completely default the settings back to how they were. I hope that's helped. A little quick guide on how to get into the secret menu. We mainly use it for adjusting the smart light on most of the POC colour view cameras. So if the light's too bright and needs to be adjusted, then we do it for the customer through that menu. But the more you know, hope that's been helpful. Catch you next time, guys.